All right. Hello, everybody. G.I. Joe here. Welcome back to the bunker in Atlanta, Georgia. And uh, we're getting going here on a new playtest, Bloodbath 4.0 rules. Some additional rule set. Um, I've made a playlist. Um, of this, so um, we have some great players joining in with us this game. Let's see here. We have, hey, there's VK. What's up, my brother? So we have some great players joining in with us this game. We have uh, the one and only, the evil Hunbone, Hambone, playing Germany. My compadre, VK Cowboy, will be playing Italy. And uh, myself is playing Japan. We are the Axis Powers. And then our opponents are Sireblood is playing Russia. We have the one and only Hilltop Pillbox playing the United Kingdom. And then we have newcomer to YouTube Wars, Warpig. Not a newcomer to us as a friend. We love Warpig, but I think it's the first time he's joined us on a YouTube War game. So welcome, Warpig. He'll be playing U.S., and China, and of course, then there's the Commonwealth. Now, these this is going to be a new set of rules. Uh, I see a new set. You know, there are some changes in here, and I'm not going to go into those changes all right now. Hambone has done a video, and you can check my playlist if you want to check that out. Uh, he's done a video to talk about some of the rule changes. Plus, um, Sired is going to pop on a little later and do some of that, but. Uh, I'm going to do Japan, so I'm going to talk about the biggest thing for Japan regarding the rule change, and that is Siam is no longer Siam. It is now going to be called Thailand. It's going to be worth two instead of one, and it's going to be pro-axis, so it is no longer going to be Jap Japanese starting off, which means Japan is now knocked down from 26 starting IPC to 25. So where do we get the extra one? Boom. Boom. Uh, we're going to play test the Caroline Islands is going to be one IPC. So Japan still starts with 26. This is pro axis. And since we're taking two Japanese infantry away from them from the opening set, we're, uh, the play test we're going to try is we're adding two. So there'll be a standing army of four pro axis there. So that is basically the only thing that affects Japan in the new rule set uh, that we're play testing. So let's get jiggy with it. My man VK is over there. All right, so Japan has 26 bucks. I did get my tech for four. For 14, I'm gonna buy two transports. And for the remaining eight, I'm gonna get two artillery. Is that okay with you, VK? Do you approve of that, sir? I don't wanna do anything to upset VK because you know he can get kinda, I don't know, panties in a wad. He is a princess, so are you okay with that, VK? All right, little, might be a little delay here. All right, so let's do some battles, man. Let's get this game going. As VK says, here we go, here we go, here we go. All right, so we got my battles laid out. First thing I'm going to do is I am going to take three infantry from Quang C. Three infantry and an artillery. We're going to go into Yun, uh, Yunnan. All right. With that, I'm going to bring from Shanghai a fighter and attack. We'll go one, two, three, and they will be involved in that battle. They have one spot remaining. That's what that dice right there is for. Okay. Um, then from right here, from Kiang Si, two infantry and an artillery will come in to Hunan. With that, I will bring. I've got two tacks. We'll go one, two, three. They have one spot remaining, and these two fighters from Manchuria will go one, two, three as well. Got it? Uh, what the heck? We'll bring our fighter from Mosa. One, two, three. The, the fighter from Formosa will come. And why not bring the fighter from Okinawa? One, two, three, four. So I've got, what's that? Four fighters and two tacks. Looks good to me. All right, so we'll do that. Here in Anway, I'll bring one dude up into Anway. These are infantry. We'll just remember that. 
I'll bring one infantry from Jehol up in Chihar. Okay, the rest will be a non-combat move. Um, we'll figure out that stuff in a minute. Okay, this is going to be non-combat. All right, let's get at it. Now, I've been thinking about how to do this. I'm going to try a different... Oh, this is technically non-combat, but I've got a transport here in C-Zone 20. I left one guy from Kiang C. He's going to hop on this transport and go 1-2 down here to C-Zone 37 off of Malaya. And we're going to drop off in Siam. We're going to collect those little four dudes. And with that, it's going to come my cruiser. One, two, all right? My cruiser is going to go right there. Let's see. Now, let's get to the good stuff, all right? That's, you know, typical-ish kind of stuff. I'll non-com some of this stuff here in a little bit. But let's get to the good stuff, all right? So Sire's pulled back, so we're going to come all into Amur. Uh, I'm going to step in here. I want to kill this these pesky little Mongolian cavalry. Let's see here, right? Um, you know what? Let's do this. Let's do all the infantry in there, too. I'm going to bring these four infantry up into Amur. Let's do that. I like that better. And then uh, we'll bring some planes. These planes have already got the dice out here, a three and a two. This plane can go one, two. No, no. One, two. Yeah, he can go right there. That gives him two more spots remaining. Then I got these fighters here. It can go one, two, three, four. No, that's not the way I want to go. One, two, three. No, one, two, three, four. Actually, there's one spot remaining, and they can land there. Yeah, yeah, I, I got this, VK. I'm good, man. Yeah. No worry. Yeah, I just don't, I don't want to have to deal with these cavalry, man, up here in Mongolia and stuff. So uh, my bomb, my attacks are going to come over here and do the same thing as well. Uh, not worried about these guys yet. Dude, relax. I told you I was going to do this. All right. So uh, let's see here. All right. I think I'm good. I think I can kill those two. I can't get to here. I can't blitz my thing right there. Yehaba. Uh, so uh, we'll do it. All right, let's get this baby going. Let's roll some dice. All right, here we go. Let's start with the Mongolian battle, right? I want to kill those cavalry. Ready? Here we go. Ready? And we're going to roll. Actually, I'm just kidding. You don't think I'm that stupid, do you? There ain't no way I'm attacking this mess. All right. I just want to give VK a heart attack, you know? Payback for all his mess there. All right, here we go. We're going to put all these planes back. I'm just messing. I'm just messing, having a good old time. Ain't no way we're attacking Mongolia. All right, we'll put those back. Just kidding. So let me just double check. I got all my battles. I got this, got this, got this, got this, took that. This will be non-combat. The rest of, rest of my moves are non-combat moves. Yeah, Chaplain, thanks. You know, and the whole reason I'm doing this live thing, guys, one, I just think it's more fun to be able to, to talk and, and, and uh, chat with everybody. And uh, plus, I paid, I'm paying two bucks a month for this app because I bought it so I could stream live from the Bloodbath tournament back in September. And I figured, well, I might as well use it for stuff. So here we are. Echaba, yes, but the map itself, is it a new map? Yes, this is the tournament map that, that was uh, played at the tournament back in September. And uh, you can't buy it, unfortunately. The only way you could get it was to have won it at the tournament. So yes, I'm a jack wagon. All right. So, let's do some battles. So, let's start with, um, let's start with, yeah, it's a play test. All right, so we're going to do, uh, we're going to do Hunan. So, I've got one at one and two at two. So, I've got one at one, two at two, and then I have one, two, three, four fighters and four fighters at three, one, Two, three, four fighters at three, and two tacks combined arms. Is that right? One, two, three, four. Why did I think there should be a fifth fighter there? I thought there was always a fifth fighter coming there. No, two came from here. One from there, one from there. I guess that's right. All right. 
Okay, so that, and then they have two at two. So they got two at two. This is live, man. This is nerve wracking. All right, so here, the battle for Hunan. Hunan. I've done my purchases. I've done my, laid out my battles. I need two hits, and I got one, two, three, four. So four of my six planes hit. So he's gone for sure. All right. And then uh, China gets to roll in defense. And there's nothing, nothing, and nothing. Is that okay, VK? You like that? Is that all right, sir? All right. Now, obviously, all these planes, I'm just going to land them right here. In. Wait, no, you know what? I'm going to wait. They have one because I can land them here if I want to. I'm just going to wait on that. All right. So the other battle is going to be Yunnan. Yunnan, Yunnan. So I've got one, two, three infantry and an artillery, an attack and a fighter. So uh, I got two at one, two at two, infantry and artillery. I got a three and a four for attack and a fighter combined arms. And then they have four in Yunnan. So I have a total of two infantry at one, an infantry artillery at two, and then a three and a four on my plane. Fighter and attack. Versus, we're in Yunnan. Here we go. I need a whole bunch of hits, man. I need a whole bunch of hits. That ain't a whole bunch of hits. That's one. All right. Here we go. Here we go. And we're trading ones. That's one hit as well. All right, so I'll take off one for there. I'll take off one for there. Let's do this again. There's two hits. One, two. All right. So there's two hits. You need a blank, baby, a blank. And there's one hit. One hit. So two are gone. He hit me once. Now I've got an infantry and artillery. And two planes. I need one hit, baby. One hit. <laughs> and I barely got it. I mean, I barely got it. So the most he can hit me is once. Hopefully nothing. And nothing. All right. So Yunnan is gone. So I have one infantry and one artillery are left. Right? Is that what I have left? Because he hit me nothing. One infantry, one artillery. So that's what's left. Those bad throws, just as I should do it on myself. Yeah, right, Ikhaba. So Ikhaba, um, sind Sie ein Deutsche? Are you a German? Are you from Germany? I'm curious. Kommen Sie aus Deutschland? Ikhaba, I have. I don't know if you're from Germany or not, or if that's just a cool, catchy name, but... Ich habe durch Deutschland, uh, Deutschland gereist. Oh, well. S excuse my poor German. Yeah, VK's making fun of me. All right. Which, what's new, right? Okay. Norwegian. All right, cool. Oh, I've got a friend here. Actually, in our Atlanta play group is from Norway. He's Norwegian as well. So, um, welcome. Okay, so I've achieved all my objectives. Now let's do some non-combats, all right? So the first non-combat I'm going to do is I'm going to take a bomber and a bomber para from Japan is going to go one, going to take two infantry, one, two, three, four, five, and we're going to land two infantry right there. I'm going to put that this is a transport plane and I'm going to make sure that those two infantry, those are two infantry, all right? Uh, the other bomber para, two more infantry, is going to go one, two, three, four, and we're going to land in Kiang C. Okay, that's going to be another bomber para. Uh, all right. Let's see, this transport right here in Japan is going to pick up this tank off of Tokyo and go one, pick up the infantry off Okinawa, two, three, and it's going to land right here in Quang C, so that infantry is going to drop on there, right? This transport from here, from C Zone 19, will grab the artillery, 
and pick up one infantry from uh, Shang Tung, right? And go one, two, and drop off there. Okay, so right now I have one, two, three, I have five infantry and an artillery and a tank that are in Quang C. All right. Uh, I'm going to send this artillery from Kiang Su is going to go south to Kiang Si. All right. These three, two infantry from Shang Tung and artillery will step up into Anwei. This artillery and infantry will step into Anwei from Jehol. All right. Um, and then we're going to do one infantry from Kiang Su is going to go into Kiang Si, and the other infantry will come up into Anwei as well. Okay, so this is an infantry. Let me take that off. I'm just trying to go slowly to make sure guys that are updating their table can know what to do. I'm going to take this chip off since we know that that is an infantry that came in with that bomber para, right? I'm going to turn this upside down just so we know that that's a... Wait, do I have a... Yeah, let me get a bomber. So that's a bomber escort. Transport. All right. This mech here from Manchuria is going to go one, two into Anway as well. These six infantry are going to step into Jehol. These four infantry will come to Manchuria along with the fighter. Got it. So I've done that. Alrighty. These two fighters and two tacks are going to go one, two, three, four, and they're going to go to Shanghai. Got it. Let's see here. One, two, three. Yep. Yep. Yeah. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Yep. That's what I'm going to do there. Um. I think I've moved everything that I can move land-wise. Okay, let's see here. Um, now I need to move this. I'm gonna move, uh, my two carriers are gonna come down from Japan down to there. I'm gonna bring a battleship from 19 down to there. My destroyer from 19 and my sub from 19 will go to there. This battleship from six is gonna to come to 33, right? Along with a cruiser, along with a sub. And let's throw another destroyer down there. And see, I've got, and let's throw this other destroyer from here. Um, we'll leave that right there. All right, so I need to land some planes, looks like it. So I guess I'll land these planes from my previous battles, the Hunan planes, so the two tacks and the four fighters will all land right there, right? And then of course the tack and fighter from the Yunnan battle will land there as well, all right? So I'm gonna place my pieces, of course I'm gonna place my two transports here, I'm gonna place my two artillery there, all right? And uh, let me, let me, uh, let's do a count. So Japan starts with 26, then we got 27, 28, 29, 30, and then I get this, 31, 32, plus I get my NO. So on the 32, one, two, three, I get the 32 on the income tracker. Plus, I get my 10 NO for not attacking United States, not hitting FIC. So, total of 42 in Japan, or not Japan, China is down to 8 because I took 1, 2, 3, 4 down. All right, am I missing anything there, uh, VK? So, I got 42, 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42. I'm going to do a recap. I think we're on a little delay here, so I'm going to do my recap real quick. And then look back to see if uh, if I missed anything. So let's start with Tokyo. Tokyo, I have three AAAs, two infantry, 
three artillery, two transports, and a destroyer. Right? And Iwo Jima, I still have a guy. In Manchuria, one, two, three, four infantry, triple A fighter. Yeah, what, whatever. Jehol, one, two, three, four, five, six infantry. Jaharan infantry. Anway, I have one, two, three, four, five infantry, two artillery, and a mech. Shanghai, two fighters, two tacks, and whatever this is, south of Shanghai, Kiang C. I have one, two, three infantry, a bomber transport, and an artillery. In Hunan, I have an infant or two infantry and an artillery. Yunnan, infantry, artillery. Not for long, but in Siam, I have five infantry. In Quang Si, I have one, two, three, four infantry, a tank, an artillery. What was that? One, one, two, one, two, three, four, five fighters, three tacks, I believe. Right? Um, in C zone. 37, I have a transport and a cruiser. Season on 36, I have two carriers loaded with two fighters and two tacks. Two transports, a battleship. I have a destroyer and a sub. I have a guy on Palau and off Caroline Islands. I still have two guys in a AAA. A battleship, a sub, two destroyers, a cruiser, and a carrier with a fighter and a tack. I got to Siam from here. I had a transport right here, and I grabbed a guy off of here and went one, two, and he landed right there. Yeah, so um, I think that's it. I'm gonna wait for VK. Did I miss anything, VK? Do you see something? Do you see something? Because I think I'm done. I've collected 42 bucks. I'm 32 on the income tracker, plus my 10 NO, 42 for Japan's next turn on J2. All right, so let's come over here and look at, look at it from this side. Yep, there you go, BK. So uh, that's it. Again, I think I'm gonna, there's a little delay here, but um, so that's the way we're looking. And I think I've moved everything I can move. I moved that, I moved that, I moved this. Da, 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 da. Uh -huh, you're welcome, BK. Nothing like good old times, right? Good old laughs. So, all right, guys, I think that's it. I think I'm done. Um, so the Japan J1 turn is officially over. And I think I've done my recap. It's been a while since I've done this YouTube game thing, so I feel like I'm forgetting something. So that's why I don't want to sign off yet. But I think I'm officially done. I've collected my money. Um, so VK, give me a thumbs up. Is there anything I've missed or a piece I haven't moved? I think I've got it all. Move that. I came and got these dudes. I'm not at war. Got everything positioned where I want it for the most part. Cool, man. So, uh, hope you guys like this. J1 is done. I think we're going to turn it over to Warpig to do US slash China 1. And uh, we'll see what he does, what he buys. Which way is he going? Is he going Pacific? Is he going Europe? Is he going to split 50-50, 60-40, 40-60? Yeah, live was fun. I like this. I think I'll do this from now on, especially when we get into some really cool battles, you know, big-time battles. It'll be fun to kind of to bounce stuff off there. So, hey, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for checking in, and I'm out. Peace.